Ken, look at your shirt. What did they do to you? What happened? Well, Gloria, it, first it started out peaceful, you know, just sort of, you know, marching up and down in front of the U.N., but then all of a sudden, this other group comes along and they start protesting against us. And then this guy from this other group jumps up on his buddy's shoulders, rips open his shirt, and right there it says, America, love it or leave it. A real tattoo burned right into his chest. And then a guy from our group jumps up and he says, oh yeah, well we love it, so why don't you leave it? And then before you know it, Gloria, there's food and rocks and bottles flying all over the place like you can't believe it. And then the cops started coming in and there were hundreds of them. So Lionel and I, we, we, we started to run. But just as we turned around, Gloria, standing there right in front of us was the biggest, tallest, meanest cop with this gigantic head and a face like Ed Sullivan. <laughs> And just as he was about to grab us, from out of nowhere comes this naked lady. A naked lady? Yeah, there was this beautiful naked lady. And, and she comes right up to Ed Sullivan, jumps in his arms, and punches him right in the face. <laughs> Couldn't believe it. But Lionel, I figured this is our chance to get away. So we dropped down to our knees, and we start crawling out of there between hundreds of legs as fast as we could, and we escaped. Do we have any cheese? <laughs> I'm hungry. Oh, yeah, I'll get it right yeah. away. Oh, Mike, where's Archie? Archie? Michael, I forgot to tell you. I sent Daddy down there to look for you. Why? Because I was worried. Yeah, but Gloria, but how could he find me? I mean, the place was a madhouse. People running around yelling, screaming, the cops arresting everyone. <laughs> oh, boy. Again, I told you before, Bunker, I don't want any more trouble from you. Oh, Mr. Kim, wait a minute, huh? Hey, look at his head. So, what do you mean, so? That's the American flag there. Very nice. How much? I don't want to sell it. This means I'm an American. So am I. So were they. Yeah, but I ain't one of them. I was just an innocent standby. <laughs> Are you trying to tell me the police arrest innocent citizens? I never said that. And I thought you said you was an American. I am. Then don't be hiding behind the American flag in order to smear the police. <laughs> Overpaid knucklehead. <laughs> oh, leave me alone with that. <laughs> oh. Oh. Hey, man, you're gonna blow your mind sniffing that stuff. Huh? Bad trip, baby, real bummer. That stuff is worse than dropping acid. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> Stick with grass, man, it's organic. It's sniffing that that's making you so hostile. This here is medicine, buddy. It's all medicine. <laughs> Sit on. That cat's gonna blow holes in his head. Don't do that to yourself, brother. <laughs> huh? Put that away, brother. Take a trip with God. What are you talking about? I'm talking about the Jesus trip, brother. Hey, let me ask you, is that noise coming off for you somewhere? <laughs> oh, gee, tie that racket off, huh? Racket? No, that's Jesus Christ Superstar, brother. It's Sunday. I know it's Sunday, and that ain't Sunday music. It's unreligious. Now, turn it off, huh? You mean you actually don't dig Jesus Christ Superstar? Jesus Christ, I dig, and I dug him a long time before you weirdos turned him into a superstar. <laughs> now, will you get that away from turn it off? Brother, you walk in darkness. All over the world, this music is turning young people on to Christ. Praise the Lord. Amen. And you condemn it. Let me tell you something. Christ don't want you turning on to him. 
He wants you coming to him on your knees. Not wiggling and jiggling till your parts fall off. <laughs> oh, look at this guy. Oh, yeah. Jeff Freak, what's the use in talking to you? What a generation. We try to learn you something, try to teach you some religion, drag us off the church. And what do you do? You give us back the son of God like he's some kind of angle boy. What's his dink? <laughs> Just coming to get you. You're kidding, I'm getting out? Hey, how about me? Oh, gee, am I glad to be seeing the last of you. We'll meet again. You want to sign these release papers? Yeah, sure. Sergeant, is my father all right? Don't worry, little lady, he's fine. There you go. Stivic, you Polish? Yeah, why? Glad to know you. Pulaski, Paul Pulaski. Oh, hi. How are you? <laughs> yeah. What, were you born here? Yeah, but my folks came from Krakow. No kidding. That's where my old man comes yeah. from. How hey, about that? Like that? Yeah. 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 Here he is, Sarge. Oh, Daddy, are you all right? How'd you get here? Trying to find your husband. Well, they can't arrest you for that, can they? The Sarge is waiting to see you, Bunker. Try not to be the jerk it was inside. <laughs> <laughs> you think you're talking to? No, apologize to Mr. Bunker. Sarge, all I said was... <laughs> all right. I apologize. <laughs> Sorry about that, Mr. Bunker. Oh, I'm sorry, Sarge. No hard feelings. I was always a friend of the cops. Even that time when you was threatening to go on strike and everybody hated you cuts. <laughs> We supported them. I always said this city would be a jungle if it wasn't for New York's finest. Well, we try. So I try to keep telling this dumb Polak son of a. <laughs> this dumb what? Polak. <laughs> Say it a little louder, Arch. Sergeant Pulaski didn't hear you. Uh-oh, I got a little bad news for you, Bunker. I'm not at all sure that your release papers are in perfect order. Callahan! Such a... Bunker, I hope you realize that a big, dumb Polak like me could easily make a mistake, right? Yes, I... Oh, Callahan! Would you take these papers down to Officer Murphy and have them typed up all over again? Officer Murphy? The one who types with one finger? <laughs> That's right. And have him be ever so careful. Right side. <laughs> Don't worry, Bunker. With any luck at all, you should be out within three or four hours. <laughs> And another sandwich, Daddy, just the way you like it. Yeah, well, I want to tell you, Zool, you've got a lot to answer for. Especially you, me, that it was all your fault. Me? What did I do? You was born a Polak, that's what you did. <laughs> that's why I had to stay in that station house for three hours, staring at that big, dumb sergeant. Because you didn't warn me. Well, what did you want me to do, Arch? Send up a signal flag saying, shut your dumb mouth, Sergeant Pulaski's Polish? Instead of being mad at Michael, you ought to thank him. He bailed you out. How much did bail bond cost us? Nothing. What do you mean, nothing? Them bondsmen don't hand over their checkers for nothing? Yeah, but I didn't go to a bail bondsman. I got the money from the Freedom Fund. <laughs> <laughs> the which? That's money used to free protesters who get arrested. You're out of jail courtesy of your friends, Arch. The Pinkos, the Meatheads, and the Freaks. 